welcome back to a couple of instigators. Quick break. Had to uh, play some commercials there because we are on the radio on Sunday <laughs> night on WRFR. Then we will be dropping to podcast on Mondays. And we are on everything. Everything. iHeartRadio, uh, SoundCloud, iTunes. You can follow us on Couple of Instigators Facebook, Couple of Instigators on Instagram. And uh, because there's so many now, I'm not changing the name, but I did add a couple of more instigators. <laughs> <laughs> so you can still find us on a couple of instigators. Okay, so we're talking about family dinners. This is how we ended it, uh, last, uh, the last uh, one. So uh, next we're going to, Teresa, what, what goes on with you for, for Thanksgiving? So this Thanksgiving, I am leaving and going to Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, my to favorite. Have, yes, it's so pretty. I can't I love wait it. to uh, go to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's house. Uh-huh. And then my mother-in-law is also coming with us. So it's going to be all five of us together. Um, I'm hopeful that's okay. It's all going to be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're planning on just really eating. And then my sister-in-law are going to be drinking martinis nonstop. Right. So nice. we'll think... I think it'll be fine, but we have discussed. So my brother-in-law has gained a little bit of weight, but not like tragically like obese. He just looks like a car salesman now. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and so he said he wanted to prove that he was still in better shape than his wife, Lydia. And so we're going to have an NFL type compact, uh, col- column, combine, 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 combine. Um, so I'm super excited that we're just going to be like drunk running like laps. Nice. Uh, you're insane. So, like, <laughs> but I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. And then we're also going to hike some, I think at some point, if the weather's nice. Uh-huh. And then uh, we were trying to figure out how long of a hike we wanted to do because we also want to continue on with the drinking. And um, yes, my this... mother-in-law was like, well, I can do whatever y'all can do. So I think <laughs> her two... Her two sons decided they wanted to do like a 15 mile hike, so what? it's gonna get in. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get interesting. I'm bringing treats. You're bringing the cat? No, I said I'm treats. bringing treats for oh, myself. Oh, treats! I'm bringing <laughs> the, cat. the cat. I thought you were bringing the cat. No, no, no. Serena is. She has to stay outside. I haven't even looked into someone to feed her that yet. I should probably go do that. What do you mean stay outside? Well, I'm not gonna be home, so she has to be outside. Wait, what? The whole what? time you're gone? It's only four days. Wait, 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 you wait. Four days. <laughs> wait, this is insane. It's not that cold here, guys. Wait a minute. What? You're <laughs> locking her up outside? No, she's going to free range. What? Why is this she staying <laughs> in the house? What do you mean she's going to free range? <laughs> She's gonna just. I'm a. What a, I envision is. No. She's gonna go eat the neighbor's cat food. She's gonna get in a couple fights. Wait, I thought like, you <laughs> loved your cat. I do love her. But then she why is she outside. not getting to stay in the house? Because I won't be here to make sure she doesn't scratch the furniture. Oh Lord, we've given up on that long ago in our house. Wait I, a minute. I have just never is is in my life. Furniture. Her, if you love the animal, you're going to really put her outside for four days? I don't, Cindy, I don't think you understand. It's not that cold here. I don't In care. In the summer, my yeah. cats don't even go outside. Jen, Jen wouldn't let her cat out if it was 75 and beautiful. What? No. Serena loves it outside. No, I have to say my cat does. I'll, I'll, I'll yell, back Teresa up on this one. My cats love it outside, too. And they probably wouldn't be that mad if they had to stay outside for four days. And Teresa has, like, her little teepee. She has a Yeah, she has a cat house. I'll even probably stick the heating pad on and just have it run for four days straight. What if she gets... Her teepee's going to burn down. What if she... (laughs) (laughs) It's plastic. It'll just melt. I could. I... Jen... Jen, I'm with you. If Danielle would have a meltdown if she even thought for one minute little girl was outside while we were on vacation, okay? I can't even imagine what my cat would do. Like, she sleeps in bed every night. Like, she'd just be like, what the hell are you doing to me? Like, I get food twice a day from the fridge. Like, I'm not surviving. 
high-fiving out here. <laughs> well, I got a she tough saw She has her little planter of cat grass growing inside. Like, <laughs> she's catered to. She can't deal with outside. Teresa! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm concerned for her. <laughs> She'll be fine. She'll be fine. I mean, when we went to Italy, she was outside for like 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of these days you're going to come back from a trip and she's just going to be gone. She doesn't just love she's going to move that. in with somebody else. <laughs> she's going to be home herself. I don't feel I mean, like when that. we're gone, we have a cat door and my cats just come and go as they please like they do when we're home. Right. And I just had my neighbor come over and feed him once a day. Okay, so here's a question for you, Margaret. How many dead animals do you find in your bathtub when I you know. get on vacation? Um, you know, it's funny. You'd think there would be, like, just a pile of bodies, like a, a mass animal grave in my shower. <laughs> um, but there's not because I think he brings them to me as gifts. So uh, if I'm not there, in fact, no he's mad at me in. when I leave. But you're correct that that's um, so he's always punishing. a fear. He's punishing yes. you now by not leaving lizards in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. No snakes for you. Oh, no yeah, lizards, right. no snakes. I forgot no about the snake. Oh, there have been many snakes, and it's horrifying. <laughs> I would it's snakes die. on a plane, it's snakes in a shower. <laughs> Reason number 37 why my cats don't go outside. I don't want them bringing snakes. I mean, in it's house. a trade off, but then there's no litter box. That's true. Yeah, that exactly. would be a good one. If they can go outside, they're the most low maintenance pets you could ever have. Yeah, yeah, well, my cat goes, she goes in and out, but we don't have a door, but every time I let the dog out to go to the bathroom, you know, she goes out. She doesn't go far. She pretty much stays on the deck, and when she wants to come in, she jumps up onto the kitchen window and stares at us. So <laughs> instead of even opening the door now, she wants the window opened and the screen pulled so she can come in and step over my sink every time. I you used know. to have a cat that would do that. Yeah, now when I open the door to let her back in, she just won't come in. She stands there and says, no, let me in the window. That's Understandable. it. Understandable. And, and you do it, right? Well, yeah, I can't leave her out there. Yeah. Danielle would have a heart attack. Like, she doesn't even, if, if if I go to bed and I leave and I leave kittens outside, her, we call her kittens or little girl, uh, she will wake up in the middle of the night and I can hear her down there screaming, kittens! <laughs> at three in the morning because I've left her. No. Well, exactly. See, I let Serena live her best life outside. Well, apparently, uh, so while we're speaking of, of cats, uh, my cat this morning, um, she's in trouble. So Danielle was marching up and down the hallway earlier up here and was going, where is she? Where's the cat? Where is she? I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong? She's in big trouble. <laughs> she's in trouble. She broke into... Grandpa Roy's catnip. Okay. Uh-oh. Danielle's oh, Grandpa boy. Roy had this homegrown catnip that we've had for years. And it's apparently real powerful stuff. Okay. So she broke into it and she is now stoned out of her mind somewhere around this house. That is hilarious. And she, <laughs> right. And Danielle said she can't find the lid and the cat. And I haven't looked. It's in her back room. The little girl has her own room. So she, yeah. So little girl's in trouble and she loves to get really stoned just like her mother. So me and little girl have a lot in common. So right now, currently our cat is missing completely high as a kite on Grandpa Roy's catnip. But listen, you guys, I love my cat so much that I order... Home, no, I order what it's like grown in the wild of Colorado up in the mountains cat for her because if I only want the best, she deserves the best. Well, you know, it's funny, Cindy. I um, I used to always just buy whatever they had at our pet store, but yeah. I just ordered catnip from Colorado, yes. Okay. And I tell you what, they really like it, they seem to like it better than the other one. I'm wondering what else might be in that catnip, right? Right. But yes, uh, Margaret, I love that you did that too, because I thought, you know what? I only want my stuff right from Colorado, so so should she. <laughs> I need to get Serena some of this Colorado cat now. Yeah, I'll send you a link. You we'll put a link on our couple of instigators page, okay? I will. I found mine on eBay a while ago. I mean, you get a big bag, it lasts a long time, but Margaret, if you have a link recently that you used... I do. Um, I actually just got it a couple of weeks ago. And the right. store sells cat wine, too. Oh, what? yeah. Let's talk about the cat wine. 
So my cats actually don't really like it. Okay. Well, I've only given them the white wine. I haven't tried the red, but <laughs> they don't seem that into it. What do you think it is? I, I think it's like just water or some kind of liquid infused with catnip, like oil. Oh. So have you tasted it? Oh, no. I think you should. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could. I bet it's awful, though. <laughs> okay, so, by the way, you guys, everybody that I'm talking to right now, we are all in different parts of the United States and another country. So we're Skyping in. <laughs> so this is, you know, you are now in our Skype chat. So that's exactly what's going on here. Um, all right, so let's see. My holiday, we're just going to my brother's. Nothing to accept. Is the porn star going to be there? Uh, no, she's going to be in Texas. So Filming? I'm going to my other brothers. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just small amounts of family. And then, uh, I will be spreading out my ads. And then as soon as dinner is over, I'm Pardon? Going... Wait, 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 wait. Back up what? I'm going to spread out my Black Friday ads on the table. Oh, and... your ads? I thought you said you were spreading eggs. No, spreading out I my... I thought you were doing like an Thanksgiving Easter egg hunt. Yeah. No, I, I'll, I'll get the newspaper with, like, piles and piles of ads. And then we spread them all out on the table, right? And then we circle and we uh, make our map and we determine where our attacks are going to start. So I will be probably starting at Walmart. And that's where I go get my vacuums and my, my Tupperware, my Rubbermaid. Okay, they have these huge rubber made things on sale every year, uh, and I always like go the for ones those. for food or the ones yeah. to store clothes. No, the ones for food. They're really cheap. So I go. I have like a, a list. Okay, and then every year I buy a new printer uh, for about <laughs> nineteen ninety nine, and I buy a new printer for work. Um, oh yeah, I have a list. So I take two to three shopping carts. Okay. And I take one of those metal clips and I clip my shopping carts together so I can push, so I can pull them all at once. You know what I mean? What do you call those? We're going to need you to film you shopping. Yes. What do you call those? those A GoPro. You need to just wear a GoPro. (laughs) On your head. Yeah. And then I, I, oh, and I'm getting a laptop this year. We're getting a laptop this year. I have to get Tracy one. So that's on my list, too. Now, I'm going to really have to fight for that laptop because it's going to be the doorbuster deal. It's like $199. It's really good for this HP. And you get us Thursday night or Friday? Thursday at 6 o'clock! Wow. Wait, I don't understand. Like, So you can't really eat that much food because you have to be able to be agile and you can't drink. This doesn't sound fun for Well, me. number one, I don't drink. And number Ugh. two, I'm really good at eating copious amounts of foods and still being pretty <laughs> agile, okay? But, <laughs> Teresa, you, you've got a point, though, because last year on Black Friday, I went to sleep and we woke up at, like, 4 a.m. to go shopping, my sister and I did, and I was still drunk, so she had to drive. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem, right? And I, my sister has to work this year, so I might have to Uber or something. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Margaret's gonna be Ubering to the mark because she's trash. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, you're half drunk, so you don't actually know what you're buying. Well, oh, I buy, my... I bought the weirdest stuff. I mean, I bought an electric blanket. I live in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really, not necessary. Yeah, but I, you know, so so yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be plotting. I'm gonna plot out my uh, shopping trip, and I gotta be honest, I'm not buying one thing for anybody for a gift. Like Black well, Friday you... is not about buying Christmas gifts for other people. Black Friday is about buying every piece of crap I could use in my house. So, in do fact... you buy anything fun for yourself, like not stuff you just? 